no, uh, I am up here to talk to you guys a little bit tonight about my job at Cobalt. Um, I've worked here for about three years. But yeah, most people do not know I've had a few different positions here. Uh, let's see, power bottom, uh, <laughs> Sorry, it's my other job, other job. No, here I've been a floor back, a bar back, and a bartender. And I'm going to kind of walk you through what each of them does. So first night floor backing. Um, and I get to see why people really come to bars in the first place, and that is so they can behave like fucking children. Um, you walk in and it is just cups and straws, and I'm picking all of them up. I mean, you know, when I was told about working at a bar and picking stuff up, I kind of imagined a lot more women would be involved. <laughs> I walk into the bathroom, also like, you know, picking kids up from daycare. I mean, nobody is potty trained at all. <laughs> And finally, people always, like, when they drink, they just want to take off all their clothes. So I find the weirdest stuff at the end of the night. I mean, I have found jog straps, weaves, women's underwear, and even a cock ring. Which, when I found it, I didn't know what it was. So I was just like, hmm, there's a bracelet? This is nice. <laughs> and uh, I have not managed to find a dildo yet, but it's ladies' night this weekend, so you never know. Yeah. Uh, you get to be a bar back. And as the bar back, I'm kind of just the most disappointing and confusing part of the bar. Like, nobody knows what I'm really doing there. Uh, imagine, like, a Friday night, it's busy, free vodka, and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a bar back. I'm, I'm refilling ice and, you know, liquor and stuff, and I'm judging people when they walk through the door. Uh, but, um,. Anyway, there's this woman, you know, at the end of the bar, and she's trying to get the bartender's attention, and she can't get it for some mysterious reason. But there's really not a mystery, she's just a shitty tipper. Anyway, so she sees me, she locks eyes with me, and there's this moment of relief, like, oh, thank God, another bartender. Hey, can I get, and I just have to stop and shake my head and act like I'm very, very sorry that I can't serve her. Like, who, me? Oh, no. I mean, I can carry three cases of beer up a narrow flight of stairs, but pour you a drink? It's too advanced. I'm still learning. Still learning. And, I mean, I gotta say, like, the look of disappointment and confusion that comes over some people's faces is, like, the best part of my night. It's, it's like I invented a new way to hurt people's feelings. Anyway, you get through the floor backing and the bar backing, and sometimes you get the bartend. So sometimes I get to do that now, and it's like, fuck yeah, it's the best, most powerful position in the bar. Woo! Uh, and I do love it, but it's a, I'm a female bartender. It's a little different for women bartenders. You're kind of expected to be tough. Um, I'm a little bit tougher than I need to be, though. I don't really want to say cunty, because that would describe me perfectly. Uh, but my attitude is kind of just like, um, don't hit on me. Don't fucking touch me. Treat me with some goddamn fucking respect. Woo! Oh, and by the way, throughout all of this, uh, please do not be distracted by the fact that uh, I'm half naked and, you know, wearing a bikini. Woo!